So a common problem that students have is to distinguish the difference between permutations and combinations. They're both distinguishing, you know, you have a certain number of things and you're taking a certain number from that, but how we know when to use each can be a source of confusion. So in general, the sort of rule of thumb that I use is that with permutations, order matters, okay? And so what I mean by that is if you pick one thing, you pick another, a permutation is going to allow a different result if you switch the order of those two. Okay? A combination will not. You choose two things, it doesn't matter what the order is going to be. So permutation order matters, combinations order doesn't. Okay? Another way you can think of it is permutation is a way that things are organized sort of in a linear fashion. You go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth, so you sort of place them in a spot. Whereas combinations are sort of just a collection of objects, so you put a bunch of things into a bag and the order in that bag doesn't really matter. So you're sort of dealing with a linear versus a bag or a order matters versus doesn't. Either way, permutation is going to be a line, order matters, combination is going to be a bag, order doesn't. Okay, so either way you think of it, as long as you know that order matters for a permutation, you are okay. So what I want to do is just do a fairly simple example and sort of distinguish the difference between the two. So we have a running a race, there's 10 people in it, and there's two things we're concerned with. The first is how many different ways are there to metal? So that takes into account gold, silver, bronze, or other words, first, second, third place. The other one is how many different groupings could there be on the metal stand? So basically there you have a trio of people. No matter what that trio is, it's going to be the same. So if the gold and the bronze person switch places, there's still the same combination on that metal stand. Okay, so we said that order doesn't matter for choosing. Okay, so order doesn't matter means that we are dealing with this sort of general grouping. Okay, so this is going to be a choose. Order doesn't matter, first and third can switch, it's the same combination of everything. And in this case we're dealing with 10 people, so this is just going to be 10 choose 3. The difference with that and permutations is with permutation order matters. So if we switch the first and the third person, we're going to get a completely different permutation. We've switched the gold and the bronze, we're going to get a completely different result. So this one, the different ways are there to metal, is a permutation. The numbers are exactly the same, so this is still 10 and 3, but instead of choosing, we are now right, using a permutation. Okay, so basically, choosing, order doesn't matter, permutation, order does. Pick a way to remember that and stick with it. Up till now, I don't really have any good sort of memory devices but hopefully you can come up with one. The way I do is just order doesn't matter for choosing and I go with that. But somehow, somehow, somehow just get it into your head which is which.